We are now just five days away from the Fed's rate decision. On Wednesday, Powell and company have hiked rates 11 times uh, since March of just last year. And that historic pace has pressured the traditional 60-40 portfolio, with the uh, Wall Street Journal reporting that that strategy lost 17 percent last year. It was a bad year for stocks. It was a bad year for bonds. It's the worst performance, in fact, for that model since 1937. So... With another chance of a hike next week, should investors ditch tradition and move away from the 60-40 mix? To discuss that and more, let's bring in Vanguard CEO Tim Buckley along with Bob Pisani from Vanguard's headquarters to discuss. Hi, Bob. Tyler, great to see you. I am on the right on the trading desk. Vanguard has revamped its trading desk. It's beautiful. It's sleek. It's modern. We're in Malvern, Pennsylvania, and we're talking with the man in charge. Tim Buckley is the CEO of Vanguard. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us today. You bet. Pleasure really, to have you here. Really appreciate it. So I, I think the problem right now is investors are really confused. They're confused about the state of the economy. They're confused about should they stay in their 5% 10-year treasuries and clip coupons and stay out of the stock market? Should they go back into the stock market? What is Vanguard telling their investors right now? Bob, boring is successful. Stay the course. You probably knew I'd say that, but every environment has its temptations. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, right now it's cash. So we live in a 5% world. If you ask us 10-year outlook on stocks, around 5% for U.S. stocks a year for the next 10 years. Bonds, you know, you're looking around 5%. So people look at cash and they say, well, I'm making a little more than 5% there. Why don't I just go to cash? The problem with that is we're now talking about something new to most investors, something you and I talked about in the 90s would be income risk. The fact that you can be getting a 5.3% yield, but suddenly the Fed starts cutting rates. And you got to know you have to know that perfectly. If you're in cash, bonds will have moved away from you, stocks will have moved away from you. Stay the course. It gets nice you're getting paid for your for your liquidity. Just enjoy that. Don't double Based down. Based on, on my it. emails, the viewers are loving their 5% treasuries and don't seem very interested in stocks. And yet we talk about a 60-40 split that Tyler was mentioning there, has that gone away? That still makes sense, doesn't it? Do we want everyone suddenly sitting in treasuries? The fundamentals of investing, Bob, have not changed. Like bonds are great for ballast. Right, you've, got this, you've got this set income stream. You've got senior claims on assets. But you need the equities for growth. We always say that's the wind in your sails, propelling you for forward. So as companies grow, you actually get to benefit from that earnings growth. And trying to time that that's a fool's errand. It's one of the fundamental principles on which Vanguard is founded. Jack Bogle said from the beginning, I met him in 1997, and he said market timing doesn't work. I want to hear more about why your risk profile needs, you need to understand your risk profile, why going forward you need to stay invested long term. That's what Vanguard's been doing for years and years. Is that, are, can you get that message out consistently? Because people seem a little concerned. They seem a little panicky. Well, we don't see that with our investors. They stay the course. Very few actually transact and move away in their portfolio. That doesn't mean that they're, they're concerned, but they, they stay the course yeah. and the benefit over the long run. If you look at uh, target retirement funds, 20 years, we're finding that millennials who have started in their 401ks with those are actually outperforming their parents. They have always had that 60-40 portfolio. My, my colleague, Tyler Madison, has got a question for you. Tyler. Tim, Tim, good afternoon. Good to see you. I I'm curious about, you're, you're one of, and probably the largest uh, seller of ETFs, uh, and there's been a lot of discussion yes. over the past few weeks about uh, potentially a Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ETFs. Are you exploring it? Do you plan to open one? Are you going to apply to open one? And what do you think of a Bitcoin ETF as an investment tool for your customers? Tyler, we won't be pursuing a Bitcoin ETF. Um, it, just like we don't uh, use gold as an asset class for our clients. So we have, it's not that people can't invest in there. We just look at asset classes for you know, what belongs in a long-term portfolio, what has intrinsic value, has cash flows to it, and those are the asset classes we steer people towards, and so we don't go towards Bitcoin or gold or, or any other of those uh, stable assets.